Thank you very much, uh, Professor Andreas Schwarzer. It was a real interesting uh, exposition. And uh, in order to start the talk, I want to try to compare some of the things that were here uh, told by these two excellent uh, uh, lectures in order to give us some ways of comparison. Uh, the first thing that we have to, to think about is the problem of the duration of the wall courses. And the Bologna process, I had the idea to uh, see, make some similarities of duration with the American system, because the three plus two or four point plus one system was closer to the three year system of the American system. But uh, uh, the Germans, and not just the, just the Germans, but mainly the Germans, did not accept the Bologna process for all, and they kept on with examination. So it means that in Europe, we have most of the faculties of most of the countries having the Bologna process going on. And uh, Germany and Austria have the traditional system of the examinations at the end. The system of the examinations at the end makes that the course, in fact, can be longer. If we talk about the duration of the courses, since in Germany, that is a national matter and not a federate, a federate matter, each uh, national state has a different duration. And as far as I know, in the beginning, all the states had a duration for three and three and a half years. And I've seen now that Hanover in going in direction of rejecting <laughs> everything from Bologna, even prolongated the time for five years. Uh, I, I believe you are the one that has more years of duration of the course, because as far as I know, for instance, Munich has three and a half, and lots of other uh, universities have the three and a half systems in order to get credits for the, the, uh, the exam. So, uh, it seems that Hanover did not just adhere to the Bologna process, but decided to go against it, aumenting the duration of the topics. So it's something that is interesting to discuss whether we should or not follow the Bologna system and what can be the best way to adapt. Because the, the idea that was behind Bologna was to compare, to, ad to adopt a system that could compare the different law teaching uh, courses. And uh, if they have the same duration, it would be easier to have the recognition of the degrees. So we have this situation. It was better five years ago when all universities in Germany had a duration of three and a half or four uh, years. If now they begin uh, making a, a bigger duration, as we see that head of a deep, it's a, another complication for the recognition of the degrees. And something that uh, I know it's very disputable in the, in the German system is if they want or not to continue having the exams because some courses, for instance, the law course from Hamburg, a private university, Buserius, has no exam at the end. So there is also some competition in uh, German universities because someone now, uh, and Busser is not the only one, uh, there are some others, uh, Erfurt, for instance. That have also exam uh, have also law courses without examination. So it's it, it's a problem that uh, uh, um, avoids more cooperation in the field of law. Then we have the question of the methods. Something that was behind the, the Bologna system 
was to adopt new methods and uh, open our teaching also to moot courts and this kind of thing. And that happened everywhere, even in Austria and Germany, as Andreas told us before. And that's something that is important because we change a little bit our, our system at all. But there is a, another thing that is funny because when we try to come together, there is always something that mix the, the, <laughs> the project that we have. Because what happened now in the American universities is that some of them and a large number of them are giving up of the Socratic method. Why? Because they say it's too expensive and because they are having more and more students. And that's why at this moment, the universities that keep the Socratic method are the best. Loyola has the Socratic method, as Lincoln and with you, but it's not the general case now. And even in Loyola, I know there is a big discussion among the professors if they should keep it or not, the Socratic system. And some of the professors don't use it no longer. So it's kind of thing that goes uh, in, uh, in the other sense of what was aimed, aimed with this cooperation schemes. So uh, it, 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 as a result of that, and that's something that we can discuss, we have, as a matter of fact, uh, two systems in Europe regarding duration and assessment. Well, there was also a step of German universities, universities towards the Bologna system that was a percentage uh, of the uh, final exam that can be obtained uh, during the uh, duration of, the, of the, the study at university. I don't know how much, uh, 20 percent, uh, 40. That, that's what I, I thought, so I'm right. 30 percent of the final exam can be obtained already during the stay at university, but the other 70 percent uh, come from the final exam. So uh, it means that uh, there are some approaches, but we are a little bit away from the, the goal that we had when the Bologna process was initiated. I know it was really, it was very criticized uh, all over Europe. Well, uh, in every university, everybody says bad things about the canteen and so on, and then criticizes the Bologna process. It's part of the, of, the, of the academic atmosphere, but nevertheless, it brought um, a, a kind of intensification of similarities between the war study all over Europe and if you look at it from an European perspective, I think it was, it had a good result. Uh, and that result uh, uh, is uh, something that helps the recognition of grades. Because a problem that we have with the German students is that they have to, to do uh, their work in Germany, and it's very difficult, the recognition. And the other way around, it's easier. So uh, when I say that uh, the Bologna process, according to the aim of uh, uh, unifying or at least uh, approaching all the national systems was successful, even if it had some outcomes. And by the way, this was, as the old guys of this group remember, a discussion we had every year. <laughs> and I remember uh, uh, the colleagues from, uh, uh, well, for instance, Astrid and the other colleagues from uh, the uh, uh, Iba, uh, from, uh, uh, well, uh, keep his name, but you, you understand already, uh, also proposed the votation. Yeah, 
thank you very much. Also, I always propose the votation about can we keep on these different systems? Shouldn't we, all of us, uh, be uh, united in the uh, Bologna process? And the votation normally uh, won yes, but we knew that it had no meaning whatsoever because <laughs> each country does what it wants and can still have different, uh, different systems because Bologna was not mandatory. It was something that depended on the will of the universities and the will of the government. So these are some things, uh, some fruit for the discussion. And now I give the floor for someone or anyone who wants to speak, must come here in order that all of us may see him, see her, who wants to participate in this discussion. I believe you were overwhelmed by the lectures. Uh, that's okay, it's good, but uh, <laughs> nevertheless, <laughs> maybe you, you may have anything else. Yes, of course, online. Also, we accept contribution. Fridge, come here, please. <laughs> now it is. It's important that we see your face. <laughs> Thank you. Um, the German, the German legal system and the German system of legal education is a bit peculiar. That's that's true, and it's not aligned to the Bologna process and. I'm afraid it will never be aligned to the Bologna process, as far as I'm concerned. Um, I just don't see the political uh, the political will, and, and the German system is a very traditional one, and I, um, I, I don't see I don't really see um, any any significant uh, change in in, in in the in the approach to it. Um, however, we have to distinguish basically two um, two, two groups of um, uh, of of legal degrees in Germany. Um, there is the, the, the vast majority of German law faculties um, that are um, uh, that are educating the students uh, that are taking the state exam in the end with this 30% of university uh, um, uh, of university uh, degree, which is not an, an, a degree in its own right, but which is a sort of which as Vasco has uh, described and um, which uh, is a part of the entire degree which is awarded at the end by the state. And uh, well, that's the vast majority of the German um, uh, law faculties. There are some law faculties who are not allowed to deliver this uh, or to, uh, that are not allowed to, um, uh, to educate students um, who would like to take the state exam. And that is, for example, Erfurt, that is Mannheim, um, that is, um, Rostock, exactly. Yeah. Normally, um, those faculties um, had been able to do that. I don't. I'm not quite sure about Erfurt because it's not really a law faculty. It's a faculty of law and and and, uh, and, and uh, politics and, and the political science. So, well, that's that's what it is. But the other ones, Rostock and and in Dresden as well, and uh, and and Mannheim, for example, they have sort of been. Um, not upgraded, but the other way around, uh, since it's uh, much cheaper to, uh, to, to have a university or have a faculty award a law degree. The problem is with this degree, you can't take up a judicial, uh, a, pro a proper judicial profession, um, because the judicial professions in Germany are um, oriented towards the, 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 the profession of the judge. And therefore, um, the uh, conditions, the, the, rec the, the, the um, uh, requirements um, are set out in a federal law, a federal law on the profession and the status of the judges. And this federal law says what you have to, uh, what kind of, what kind of, um, uh, what kind of professional uh, uh, abilities you have to have in order to become a judge. And it's also that law that is fixing the maximum time for studies. And they have 
um, uh, upgraded it. They have changed it to five years now because they are acknowledging that uh, the topics have increased during the last years. And this five-year maximum period um, has something to do with uh, scholarships, uh, has something to do with social benefits and so on. So you are entitled, for example, to social benefits or there won't be any problem for the students that are entitled to social benefits as long as they stay within this five-year uh, uh, time frame. And the problem is, uh, obviously, as Vashka has pointed out quite correctly, um, that this uh, deepens the divide uh, between the, the, the universities in Europe. Um, but it was sort of a compromise solution because it is in the interest of the German students to be able to study longer um, while the amount of topics, the amount of, 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 uh, of, 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 of um, uh, things they have to learn is increasing. So that's the reason behind this, this prolongation of the... Of the yeah, and, um, and it's in line with the master test for bachelor master's or bachelor's that's, that's possible, yes, that's, that's, that's possible. I don't know whether that was the, um, the, the core reason for them to do that, but the, the student associations have been lobbying quite uh, intensively in order to get this, this, this sort of prolongation. Um, so basically, um, as long as we do not uh, entirely change uh, this orientation uh, towards the, the profession of the judge in Germany um, and the, the connection between this profession and its requirements and the professions of attorney or a, a, a public prosecutor and so on, they all have to be able to be judges in theory, so they all have to, to follow this course. As long, we do not, as long as we do not break up this, this connection, um, I'm afraid there won't be any, 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 any change in the German legal system, with all the negative aspects that you've pointed out uh, quite clearly. Um, uh, that's, that's absolutely right. Um, but, uh, well, basically, what we are trying to do is to, to encourage students uh, in any event to, uh, to, to do uh, exchange programs, but obviously it sort of complicates things for the German students because they basically have to do a lot on top is, uh, in, in, compared to others who might be able to replace some, uh, some of their uh, credits in the university. Um, there is some possibility of, 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 of uh, uh, replacing credits at home with credits that you've uh, obtained abroad, and, but it's a rather limited in the German, in the German system. That's, that's absolutely true. So it's not a sort of um, excuse of the German system. It's just, uh, it's just uh, to, to, to explain why we are doing it like that. Thank you. More comments? Thank you very much, Friedrich. It was uh, really good to, to understand these changes. And um, as far as I know, and, and trying to do some comparison using what you said, there is a possibility of having uh, a Bologna system if you integrate the master and the bachelor, uh, bachelor program. And like that, you can have the five years integrated in system, and in the end, giving them the master uh, uh, degree. Yes. And that could be also a good solution, because as you said before, since you have difficulties in getting the graduation for regular courses done abroad, normally your solution is to do the students another uh, degree, which is the master degree. So that could be also perhaps a possibility of coming all together a little bit more intensively, don't you think? <laughs> yeah, yeah, please, please, please. <laughs> Go ahead. Sorry, but yeah, yeah. I'm about about, the German yeah, yeah, yeah. But you're absolutely right. <laughs> and I'm sorry for, for complicating your no, no problem at all. No problem at all. And that's that's indeed a, a very good idea, and that's being discussed at the moment. And 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 I, I think I got the impression that we are discussing that at the faculty as well, if it is possible. But that would um, 
uh, require us to get the, 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 the agreement of the, 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 the Ministry of Justice and the Ministry of Culture or whoever is, is responsible for, for, for the universities. It is being discussed that for those students that are taking the, the state exam, but who are not necessarily very successful in that, there might be a second degree or an additional degree, like a master's degree, um, which they get on top if they pass, and which they get anyway if they do, do not pass the state part, which would be exactly what you have said. And, and I think that is a very good solution. The only problem is, um, and here, at least in my opinion, um, the Bologna system, or at least the German understanding of the Bologna system, comes a little bit in our way. Since in order to award a master's degree, which is harmonized all over the place and in, in, in all the, the different subjects you've got, you have to fulfill certain requirements. And it's extremely difficult to harmonize the requirements of legal studies that are oriented towards the state exam with the requirements of a, let's say, usual master course. And if the, but that's basically up to the ministry, if they show a certain amount of flexibility in accepting our peculiar master uh, as a master's degree, then I think we could be uh, quite successful in, in implementing such, uh, such an additional program. And in such an additional program, um, at least I, I think you could quite, quite easily integrate even more international aspects as, uh, than, than, uh, as we've done that uh, before and as we are doing it right now. So I think that is a, a, really, interesting, a really interesting perspective. The only question is, we are always dependent on the political, uh, on, you know, the on the ministry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but that's, that's perfectly fine. Yeah, absolutely. Thank, Thank you. you very much.